How you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out How Long by Ariel Posen. Amazing song. Loving this new kind of, well, new to me artist, Canadian guitar player, singer, songwriter, incredible sly guitar player, which is where I first encountered his stuff. But he's just released a new record and I'm loving this tune. Um, there's loads of interesting things going on. First of all, it's on a baritone guitar. So this is a baritone guitar. It's a 27 inch scale length. So the neck's a little bit longer than a, a regular guitar would be. So it can take thicker strings and get deeper. That's kind of the idea is you can get some of those kind of, I guess, seven string sounds. A lot of the kind of the new metal guys, I guess, use this kind of instrument, but it's lovely for this kind of textural stuff as well, because it's such a big, deep sound. So um, that's a little bit about the guitar. Um, Ariel's using an interesting tuning in this. It's a open C tuning, but in the way that would regularly be considered an open D tuning. So it's kind of like open D tuning down a tone, which works lovely in this tuning if you, and he's using a, a capo here on the second fret. So it is really an open D uh, tuning. I guess he's using the capo there in this tuning because of the instrument, the range to suit his voice. Um, if everything kind of works out, he's coming to the studio next week. Uh, so I'll get a chance to quiz him about it and probably go through a few more of the parts. I'll get him to take you through some of the layers, the slide guitar parts, the solo and that sort of stuff for this tune. But I thought in advance of that, I'd do uh, a lesson on this tune and explain some of what's going on. So the tuning, if you're gonna go for open C and use the capo on the second fret, would be from low to high, thicker string to thinner string would be C, G, C, E, G, C. Okay, so you've got C notes on the thicker string, the fourth string and the thinner string. You've got Gs on the two kind of inside by one string, so fifth string and the second string, and then just a single E on the, what would regularly be the G string. But of course, if you want to just play it on a regular guitar, you probably want to go to just regular open D tuning, which would be one tone of the one tone higher than what I just told you. So it'd be D, A, D, F sharp, A, D would be your kind of standard open D tuning, which all of this will work. I'm going to try and describe it, everything to you relative to the capo there. So, uh, you can choose then, you know, if you're going to play it on a regular guitar. I'm also going to take you through quickly on the acoustic guitar how to play the song uh, in regular tuning as well because it's such a nice tune. There's some really interesting chords going on with it. So that's a little bit about what's happening uh, with the tuning. Uh, everyone's going to ask about the sound. I know I'm using actually this uh, Victory V40 amp that you can maybe see in the background there. Um, I'll get a photo of the settings for you before I finish the video. And it's going through my Oxbox uh, so that I'm not deafening myself. In fact, the cabinet's not working right now. You're just hearing the sound from the Oxbox directly into Pro Tools. Uh, so I'm using a little bit of the, the tremolo effect and a bit of reverb from there, a little bit of reverb in the Oxbox as well, plate reverb, which I think sounds more like uh, the original recording. Um, so I mean, it's a lovely sound. Just strumming the guitar with no fingers on at all gives you this really, really rich sounding C chord. Or with the capo on, it's going to be a D chord. Um, so Talk a little bit about some of the grips now, because that's uh, one of the most interesting things about this tune. The, the, the part that I'm showing you is actually relatively simple, but it's got so many really just tasty ideas, particularly if you're into exploring your tunings and some kind of playing regular chords, not just slide guitar in these kind of tunings, which I think is a really interesting uh, part of the guitar. So uh, let's get to a close up and have a look at the chords. So the first chord you're gonna encounter in this tune is this A chord. <laughs> Looks a little bit unusual because of the tuning. We've got first finger uh, in the second fret of the fourth string, second finger, third fret of the third string, and uh, third finger, fourth fret of the second string. Of course, I'm talking relative to the capo, okay? Or relative to the open strings if you've tuned to open D. So you're gonna play the middle four strings, then you're gonna play the thinner string, which is the fourth, and then first finger is gonna drop down and play the second fret. Now, I quite often just use the underneath of my first finger, but I've seen Ariel do it live, and he seems to go for that moving the first finger. It's probably, it's a, it's a melody, it's a strong melody note, it wants to be, you know, make sure it's nice and clear, so moving the first finger is probably a better idea. That's an A chord. Now, the second chord, ah, oh, so good. This is an F sharp, seven sharp, five chord. Uh, first finger is barring the middle two strings at the fourth fret. Third finger is gonna play the uh, fifth fret, five frets above the capo, that is, uh, on the second string, and thumb is gonna play the bass note, fourth fret. You wanna make sure the fifth string is muted and also the thinnest string is muted. 
okay it's just hold it so then we get this B minor okay so this is second fret of the fifth string open third string open thinner string it does a little hammer on there sometimes again it's not exactly the same every time it's something if you really want to get into the minute you're going to need to do some listening yourself and sometimes I hear this note here the third finger going down in the second fret of the second string as well it's just an octave of that anyway you can get a really nice little movements there lots of variations again that Ariel would use uh, live up to you to experiment and see which variations of it you like uh, second time through it repeats but there's this really lovely uh, what a nice move this is this is B minor but putting your first finger down in the first fret of the third string takes it to a G chord or a G slash B I guess technically G with a B bass but what a lovely movement uh, so good right so that's the the first little sequence is the A sharp 7 sharp 5 to B minor again okay now I, I noticed I just did a little movement now that's not on the original recording I don't think some somebody might be doing it in the band the keyboards or something but fits with the melody as well so sometimes I can't help but lift off that third finger just to get that melody bit now just when you thought it couldn't get any better there's another really really lovely chord it goes from the A but this time we're playing the chord the middle strings thinner string and then back to the second string and then this oh yeah baby this is a minor six chord with this lovely what a lush sounding chord that is it looks like an A minor upper fret I guess you know compared to a, in standard tuning but in this it's functioning now as a D minor six Lovely. So A minor six, then A back to our F sharp seven, sharp five to B minor. Okay. So that's all of the way through the verse. It uh, repeats the verse again, uh, and then we're into the chorus. Now, getting into the chorus, there's a kind of a moving chord which Ariel doesn't seem to pick up on but definitely people in the band are doing it and it's this it's kind of a, a it's functioning as a D with an F sharp bass uh, second finger four frets above the capo first uh, on the thicker string first finger three frets above the capo on the third string it's just really a pickup for the chorus chords now the chorus is moving between a G and an A chord but there's a couple of different variations now this one it's really a G with a B bass and an A with a C sharp bass uh, this is a, a very common, it looks like an E7, I guess, in regular tuning. First finger, first fret, third string, second finger, uh, second fret, fifth string. It, it, you could think of it as this, uh, you know, if this is a D chord, this is a D6 sus4, a real common kind of open G move used by the Stones and those kind of people, but in, just in a different tuning. It's lo lovely, lovely, lovely motion. But if you're just thinking of it from the fifth string, you're thinking of it as a G with a B bass. If you've got the D on the bottom, it's a G with a D bass. Uh, the, the bass player is playing the G to the A, so it's in root position still by the sounds to me mostly. But uh, a nice way around this is to do the G like this, then the A. It's exactly the same shape up two frets, okay? Back to the G, back to the A. Now you've got that little little moving chord again you can just do it like that the, the D with an F sharp bass which leads into the G so nicely you can also do it this way I think sounds just as nice as well so that's a fourth fret muting the fifth string fourth fret third fret open thinner strings if you want if you're gonna do that you can get a really nice G chord this way as well which again live it appears that Ariel's uh, using this toward the end of the song but you can use it earlier in the song if you like so that's just a fifth fret muted fifth fret uh, sorry fifth fret muted open fifth fret open open 
there's other notes going in it's not just a straight G chord but you can think of it as a straight G chord move it up two frets and you've got the A okay so G A maybe repeat that G A now you've got the passing chord on beat 4 go to the G this way A and then right at the end actually it's that so this is a the the six sus four thing but we've moved the bass up as well so it's second fret second fret open first fret open open oh and the, the baritone with those deep thick notes man really gets me excited this music it's so big and the chords are so rich so, uh, the very first time through the chorus, he just plays that on beat uh, one, two, three, four, and then there's a whole bar where it just holds three, and the, the drums are in for another verse. So the verse is more or less the same, and it's got another chorus. After the chorus, it's going into the bridge. Now the bridge, we've got our G chord for two bars, and it's going to a D chord. Nice way of doing that in this tuning, uh, not exactly sure which version is being played on the recording to be completely honest here, but uh, uh, this is the 11th fret, so this is 9 frets above the capo, uh, muting the 5th string, open, that'll be 8th fret, 8 frets above the capo, thinnest 2 strings, open, so it's just uh, 2 bars on the G, 1, 2, Back to the G, so it's just up there for one bar. Three, four, one, two, three. Now we've got this B minor. I think this is the one that's being played. So muting the thicker string, second, open, open, second, open. And then this A, A sus two, I guess. I think is what, again, I think is what's going on. Open, second, third, open maybe open thinner string as well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we've got the solo then, the solo I'm not gonna take through with you today, I'm hoping I'll get uh, Ariel to give us a demo on that, but it's played over the chorus progression, so the G, A, G, A, with that little movement again. There's this other little thing that happens occasionally which I'll show you just because it's real nice. So this little movement here, uh, you can either do it this way, two, two, open, one, open, open, or sometimes just these, so open, second, open, first, open, open. There's this really nice hammer on that you get here. Open, fifth string, hammer down the second fret, open, fourth string. really nice with that bass movement as well actually that's a big that's a big win that little uh, section there and that's pretty much it there are obviously different choices you got for some of the chords but hopefully that's enough to get you started on this great tune okay so let's just have a little look at what's going on harmonically and how you might approach this kind of tune on an acoustic guitar if you didn't want to go through the whole tuning thing because it's a great song and there's definitely lots of layers there's an, uh, a standard tuning guitar on the track as well it's I've had trouble uh, defining exactly what's going on between the parts, but hopefully I can uh, clarify some of that with uh, Ariel next week. So anyway, the harmonies, just a regular A chord, sus4, and then play the thinner string if you want to pick out that melody. Then you've got an F sharp7, sharp5. This is the most common way of playing this. Second fret, nothing. Second fret, third fret, third fret. But you could again play it like that with your thumb over is quite a common nice way of doing it to a regular B minor A F sharp 7 sharp 5 to B minor and then we're just raising that F sharp up to a G to go from B minor to G okay 
nice, very, very nice movement. Other ways of, to approach it, of course, but that's one that you might like to check out. Then we've got A to D minor six. Now this is the easiest way to play a D minor six like this. Uh, fifth fret on the fifth string, then third fret, then fourth fret. But you can also, if you want to get a bit more fancy, you can lay your first finger down flat to get that note D. And if you want to be really clever and you can bridge it up, you can get an open E in there as well, which adds the ninth. Might be a bit too much actually, but it's a nice sound, I think. Or now there's your D with an F sharp. Actually, I'm playing D major seven, going to a G, which is kind of sounds nice to my ears. Sorry, second fret, thicker string, muted fifth string, open, second fret, second fret. Yeah, you don't want really the thinner string either, that should be muted. Then it's just G to A. But you could try doing like G, it's quite a nice one. Adding the six in there gets a little bit more of that kind of little resonances that you get with an altered tuning. Uh, that's just five, four, three, open with thumb playing the bass. Nice again, nice one for the A chord. Okay, nothing on the thicker string. Open seven six, open open. Okay, but if you want to again, if you want to follow the bass lines, a few different approaches that's G with a B bass, A with a C sharp bass, uh, G with a D bass, A with an E bass, G6, A add 9. There's lots of different variations that you might want to explore uh, for those chords. The very ending uh, where he's doing this little kind of G over D to D chord, the very last, you know, it's just played like that on the in the tuning, but there's not really a nice version of that on a standard tuning guitar. So that's the kind of movement that just, because it's so high up, it just, just doesn't sound right to my ears anyway. Uh, so that's one thing that you might want to, uh, you know, try and be aware of, is that G with a, G with a D bass to D. You could also do it this way. There's a few little kind of variations, but none of them sound as rich as that open tuned, uh, that open D tuning for this particular chord grip. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's a little out of the ordinary for the kind of stuff that I cover, but it's a, just such a lovely, I really, really liked Ariel's record, the last one. It's uh, been a consistently playlisted one in my house lately. Uh, lots of really great songs. You know, I think everyone knew that he was a great guitar player, great sly guitar player, but you know, to sing and write like that too, a little bit jealous. Anyway, he's coming over hopefully next week. So if you've got some questions for him, this could be maybe you're watching this video in a couple of years time, in which case it's completely irrelevant. But if you've got some questions for him, maybe pop them in the comments down below and I'll try and get in as many of those questions about this tune or the, the other albums or his sly guitar, his work with Brothers Landreth or, where, you know, there's plenty of stuff that we can discuss. Hopefully we'll be filming a little series of lessons as well, discussing slide guitar and all of those kind of things. So uh, yeah, really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.